day two at Cheltenham. I got off to a great start yesterday and my nap, uh, Covega, did win. Um, don't have a stronger fancy day. I'll have a special one on Friday for you, but not as hot as Covega. My best bet today is in the first race. It comes actually from the same uh, Irish stable, uh, Willie Mullins in Carlo with Ruby Walsh riding. I'm told that Fahim is a, an aeroplane. He's been unbeaten in his five runs. I've seen him twice. He won a point to point. He went to Punchestown in a bumper last year and beat Justice Hill by 22 lengths. They didn't see which way he went. He then has run in three hurdles this year and uh, Emmett Mullins says he's the best horse he's sat on. That's good enough for me. I know Red Sherlock has fancied, but Faheen at around five to two is the best bet of the day. Don't fancy anything much in the RSA chase would be against Bally Casey. The Coral Cup is absolutely impossible. In the big race, I marginally prefer Captain Conan to Sar de Grugy on the basis that Sar de Grugy's form on the course is just not up to scratch, although he's the highest rated horse. Uh, we move on. Uh, good word about Big Shoe, although he has a, a, a lot of weight to carry, and each way bet to nothing in the cross country. And we, D Dawalan is certainly fancied. He's a grey horse. Uh, in the 440, the Fred Winter, four-year-old handicap hurdle, I certainly think he'll give you a run for your money. He's a grey horse, number eight, Dowelan, each way. Barry Geraghty, successful on Jeski yesterday, takes the mount. Finally, we come to the bumper, and everyone will be going for Willie Mullins. But I've heard from the works uh, that he's done up the old Vic Gallop at the Curra that Dermot Wells' horse, he has two in this race, that Silver Concord is his best horse. So in each way on Silver Concord, it's a double digit figure around 14 to one and the, a saver in the last won't go astray. But if you want one horse for today, it's in the first, it's Faheen, just watch him win.